Welcome back, and if you haven't finished watching tutorial 5 login systems part 1, go back and watch it now. Because I guess you need it. Well, anyways, um, now we're, we were done with uh, creating our account, so now we need to go to our, our making our login system. So, select everything and press Ctrl C, and then go to um, select on the login tab. And click on the white spot and then press and hold control and press V. Voila, you created, you copied and pasted. So now I'll click on the button and change it to login. Right here, this should be text box 4 and this should be text box 3. You don't want that. So move text box 4 down and move text box 3 up. You don't want it because I don't want it like that. Which makes it why you don't want it like that. Haha. <laughs> so on te click text box three and now use system password card, set that to false. Click on text box four and set that to true. I don't know why I'm nervous. I know you can hear it in me. So we'll click on the login button and now click um write try and press enter. This is an awesome thing right here. I I like using this. And now what you're going to write right here on catch is going to be message box, error, a little line, another quotation, and plus ex.message. This is a very, very good thing to catch errors. You'll like it a lot. And I'm glad I taught you it. So anyways, in, in try, you're going to start by creating two standalone variables. So dim a s a as oops as string and then dim s b as string as well once you're done with that we're going to create the variables to read the text files so dim a as new system.io.stream reader whoopsies C test. Remember to add the slash at the end of that. This one isn't going to be the same as before, which is going to be, you know, text box one. This one's got to be text box three. Dot text plus, which is going to be a slash and then username. Dot txt. A dot. Wait, wait, wait. S A equals A dot read line. A dot close. Then dim dim b as new system dot io dot stream reader c test slash at the end of that plus text box three dot text plus password dot txt sb equals b dot read line wow I am not able to write today b dot close alright <clears throat> so we're done basically with standalone variables and the variables to read the text files now we will um, we will start by checking if what the user wrote is correct so if text box 3 dot text equals sa dot to string which means if text box 3 is equal to the same thing that is written in the text files do what's come do what comes up next else not equal give an error message box error account does not exist this error might pop up and maybe it might not maybe this error will pop, pop up I really don't care that basically this this thing right here is a fail fail safe so it'll always pop up if you get an error and do this if text box for dot text equals sb dot string, then 
do this, else give an error. Message box, error, password incorrect. Press enter on do this and then let's see. We are going to write the message box. Welcome to the system. SA dot two string. <clears throat> Basically, this is the code you need to check if if to log in basically. So let's press start debugging. All right, we have an account that I was just making a while back, but let's let's restart everything. And let's try dead and some weird password. Password ASD ASD. Just so I know. And now if you try to create another account, you get an error. So that's basically very, very good. And the password never changes. Now if we go to login and we type a random username, you get an error. Error cannot find part of path, blah, blah, blah. Which is always good. It's not the error that we wrote, but it's an error that this caught. And if we type dead, and we don't put a password, password incorrect. Or if we type anything, password is incorrect. So let's try ASD, ASD. Welcome to the system. And basically, I am sorry for you guys, you know, not making tutorials for a long time. But I'm back, and I'm going to start making a ton of freaking tutorials, because I've learned a lot about Visual Basics. Especially how to download, you know, files from the internet uh, with a progress bar. And it'll show you, you know, kilobytes left, megabytes, blah, 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 and your download rate. Which is always good. And, you know what? Please do not bitch, because I showed you guys everything. And it's going to be in high definition. So don't bitch. And goodbye. Oh yeah, and register on the forums if you want the codes. Goodbye.